Why is it that we always are pushing this music on the video game characters that are in the game? Why can't we just ask the characters what they want to hear? It was this simple question that led me down a path to creating this new game that I made up to have more fun with my Twitch app. Now, obviously, we cannot talk to in-game characters, but what if there was a way for us to communicate with them and we asked a simple question? What music would you like to hear? So today, we're gonna ask characters in the game what they want to hear and they're gonna help us make a tune. At the same time also, I really badly wanna show you my drawing skills on Microsoft Paint. So in order to avoid the copyright gods, we decided to draw our versions of the video game characters. We're gonna draw our version of Sonic. <laughs> this is like the complete opposite of the past. Crix, you don't know nothing. Trust the process. We gotta take Sonic, give him like, those little spike things, right? There you go. And this right here is gonna be his little, like, nose. <laughs> that, that works. This is gonna be fantastic. You guys don't even know. First things first, we need to give him eyes because he needs to see where he's going. Beautiful. <laughs> Let me zoom in here really quick. All right, here we go. We're gonna do this. And now check this. This, this is a really cool idea that I learned. If you want to, him to look at you, you do the little bit of a offset with his eyes. Fill these babies in, in there, and there you go. Sonic's now looking at us. He's cross -eyed. He's not cross-eyed. Don't make fun of him, Sonic. Look, he's beautiful. <laughs> he's a Viking beard. All right, we'll give him a Viking beard. Sonic has a Viking beard. That's the best that I can do. He's out of his mind. You're talking about Sonic or me. First, you look at this and you think to yourself that this is like creepypasta material, but in reality, it is not. This is like fixable really easy. Oh, the only thing you need to do is give him a, a smile. Look. See, now we gotta we gotta give him like like his blue color. This is kind of a blue, right? I'm kind of colorblind, so this is not <laughs> this is not this is a bad idea <laughs> from the get go. <laughs> Bro, looks like he has social anxiety. All right, all right, hold on, hold on. I can fix this. I can fix this with his eyebrows. All right, check it. There you go. By the end of this, you will love Sonic. Also, don't discriminate. Everybody's beautiful in their own way. Sonic need, needs to be cool, right? So Sonic needs to have his hand like this. Like he's on his torso kind of deal. And then like the other hand is going to be like this. <laughs> he's fat. He's not fat. Why are you guys shaming Sonic? He's he's fine. He's beautiful. You guys are doing a bad, a bad job at like making Sonic feel self-conscious. No neck. He doesn't need a neck. He's Sonic. He's faster than necks. His hand is going to be like all like a fist because that's what Sonic does. He makes fists. You guys are roasting my drawings. I do not appreciate it. Can I buy it for zero dollars? <laughs> uh, that's a bargain. I'm, I might take you up on that offer. Give me give me a second. Let me just finish it first, all right? He is beautiful. You guys are just like mean. You don't know, you don't know how to treat a Sonic properly. I don't recall so if Sonic has fingers, but I'll give him fingers. What we need is legs. Sonic needs to go fast. There we go. <laughs> Small legs on that big booty. Four porcupines out of 12 hedgehogs. <laughs> Shut up. Don't make fun of him. <laughs> He's self-conscious, all right? Uh, since we've taken our royalty-free Sonic, our copyright avoidance Sonic, I'm gonna use this to invite Sonic over to my stream really quickly. In, in theory, we should have Sonic. Yeah, there's Sonic right there. So Sonic is on the stream. <laughs> Sonic skipped late. Hey, I said don't make fun of him. You guys are really mean to Sonic. He's, look at him. Look at Oh my god, I, I have to cover this to like show that it's Sonic. <laughs> he is beautiful. Now, I've designed... Well, I didn't design sh This is a program designed by my wonderful, wonderful moderator, Getcheline, also my wife, and the one fantastic, beautiful being that I love. And now we get to pick our video game character, which his name is, oh wait, this is a wrong name, San. We get to choose which uh, video game we get to put him in, and then a newly acquired character trait that, that we can add to this guy. Which ge video game do we want Sonic to be in? <laughs> Half-Life. We should put him in Half-Life or Mortal Kombat. Jesus Christ. God. The game that we are gonna <laughs> Lethal Company. Let's put him in Lethal Company. We gotta give him the the character trait of Jim Rat. Hey Sonic, how you doing today, bud? Is he having a stroke? Hey there! Just finished a speed run on the treadmill. You know, gotta keep those fast twitch muscles primed. What's up with you? <laughs> Did not expect him to jump up that goddamn fast. <laughs> I did not expect them to <laughs> So Sonic, check it out. We're trying to make music for this game called Lethal Company. Wanna help us out? It takes it takes him a second to like think about shit because you know we just made him. He he was just born, you guys. He can't like speed up everything and like talk. Sure thing, buddy. But first, let's get some details. 
What's the vibe of the game? Any specific scenes or characters the music is for? And how about the pace? Fast like a sprint or slow like a cooldown stretch? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> what does it mean, cooldown stretch? Wait a second. I, I I don't know. I got I gotta take a look at the game. This is the this is the thing, right? Okay, we gotta explain it to Sonic properly, you guys. So you're a scuba diver in a hull with your friends. I'm guessing, it, it, guys, you need to help me out. Is this a horror game? All right, we gotta go and report back to Sonic. So the vibe is kind of eerie. It's a horror game, and basically you're a scuba guy with your friends, and I believe there's monsters. So what do you think? Eerie, huh? Sounds like a deep sea dive into the unknown. How about we use the sound of heavy breathing through a scuba regulator for rhythm? Maybe mix in some high-pitched sonar pings for suspense, and don't forget the occasional distant roar of Whoa. a sea monster for that extra chill factor. What do you think? Th that was a lot of information, so I heard heavy breathing? He wants me to breathe through a scuba refrigerator regulator for rhythm? Maybe mix in some high-pitched sonar pings for suspense? And a distant sea monster? How the frick am I gonna put all of this in here? That, that needs to be the voice, right? Sonic, sir, I forgot to ask what BPM should the song be in, and that's it. For an eerie, suspenseful vibe, I'd suggest a slower BPM, maybe around 60, 70. It's like the steady, suspenseful heartbeat of a diver exploring the unknown. Okay. But remember, it's your game, so feel free to experiment. <sighs> So that's that, that's the first part. He he asked for like pings, high pitched sonar pings for suspense. Wait a second, like sonar, you can use sonar in space, right? Th th this is good. So far, it's good. Sonic, sir, we finished the two instruments. What instrument I should go with next? How about adding the sound of water bubbles rising? It's not a traditional instrument, but it'll add to the underwater atmosphere. And for a gym rat twist, maybe the clank of weights being set down gives a sense of something heavy lurking in the deep. What do you think? I think this was a bad idea is what I think. I'm gonna ignore the water stuff, okay? I just messed up because I thought it was the game is underwater. Sonic, sir, I don't have any medals, but can I use my keyboard to create some atmosphere, please? If Sonic says it's okay, then we're, we're doing it, okay? <laughs> well, I Absolutely, buddy. A keyboard can create a wide range of sounds. Try using a low resonant tone to mimic the sound of underwater echoes. And for the gym rat twist, how about a high sharp tone to represent the ping of a stopwatch? Keep it, <laughs> alien, keep it suspenseful. Okay, yes sir, Sonic sir. Sonic, I'm sorry, but I, I forgot to mention that the, the game is not underwater, it's actually in space. And I finished with the instrument. What do you want me to do next? Which instrument should I use next? Space, huh? That changes the game. How about using the sound of radio static to mimic the sound of space communication? Oh, and for a gym rat twist, the beep of a heart rate monitor could add a nice touch. It's like the steady beat of an astronaut keeping fit in zero gravity. Keep it eerie. Keep it suspenseful. Okay, I'll, I'll give it my best shot, but you're kind of asking too much at this point. Let, let, let's make the stupid... Oh, oh my god, what... This was such a bad idea. Why did I put myself in this? This is horrible. Okay, well, one final instrument, all right? We're gonna ask Sonic one final instrument. Sir, Sonic, sir, uh, we finished with everything. Can we have the final instrument for this track so we can complete it, sir? And we're gonna see if it fits, actually, the game. Because at this point, we, we, we just took Sonic, put him for in the- the final touch, let's go with the sound of a treadmill running at full speed. It's not only a nod to your gym rat persona, Th but it also mimics the constant motion of a spaceship traveling through the cosmos. Keep it steady, keep it suspenseful. Where the fuck am I gonna find a treadmill? What is wrong with you? Is it okay if I put drums to mimic a treadmill? Absolutely, buddy. Drums can give a rhythmic, steady beat that can mimic the sound of a treadmill. Just keep the pace consistent to maintain that running feel. We gotta pass. We gotta... You guys heard him. We gotta pass. Now, we're gonna see if that fits the game. This is what I made with the help of Sonic over here.
acceptable, actually. Our boy Sonic kind of made, made a banger. Look at him go. Yeah, let's go, Sonic. All right. Time has come for you guys to rate that song. Give me them scores. Drop them in the chat. And I'm just going to read them out. And at the same time, I'm going to go, Hey, Sonic, we finished that song. How did you like it? Can't wait to hear it, buddy. But remember, I'm Sonic. I can't actually listen to the song. But I'm sure it's as awesome as a speed run. You don't listen. You don't listen. Get out of here. Get out of here. I'm loving it out of 10. All right. Five smooth brain out of 10 smooth brains. <laughs> Anesthesia, I don't appreciate you making fun of my Sonic. Sonic is out of marbles. He's fine. You guys are just like mean to him for no reason. Seven out of 10. Heaven prepared out of forgot. Jim Rat out of stick like Sonic. <laughs> He's great. He's doing fine. You guys are just mean. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to need you guys to give a quick hand like exclamation point claps for our sonic friend over here he did great sonic anything uh you want to say before we send you off keep it fast keep it fit and remember even in space never skip leg day catch you on the <laughs> flip side buddy <laughs> that was beautiful all right that was sonic he he, he did good for his first time on the stream. He, he, he was he was a great boy. You want me to save the song from Sanic? Okay. I knew that this was gonna be fun, but I didn't know that how, how much fun we're, we were gonna have with this bullshit. Now that we had our first run through, which game character should we invite next? Guys, give, give, me, give me a suggestion. Faith from Mirror's Edge. Okay, I'm gonna take Faith from Mirror's Edge. Mario, and then we had GLaDOS, uh, Sans. All right, Steve from Minecraft, Owen. All right, I'm, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> and then we finally have Go Ghost from Call of Duty. So we're gonna spin the wheel. Let's see who we're gonna invite over to our stream and uh, up next. Faith from Mirror's Edge. Wait a second, who is this? Faith from Mirror's Edge images. Oh, 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 Faith. All right, they're, they're so cool. This is easy. Okay, I can see that they have the like, the nice hair. So we're gonna, we're gonna start, we'll start with that. We're gonna like, that's the nice hair. And then it's like she she got fringes and then it's like that and then their face is like that right and then it continues from this side like a ball almost yeah that's fine and then take this fill it oh god no but <laughs> give me a second boom right right guys right that's what it is you just boom boom beautiful so we need to draw her little eyes okay and then we need to draw that little star thing that she has all right that's fine and then we gotta like eh. <laughs> this will be fifth this will be this will be fifth this will be like uh there you go fifth what do you mean i can't draw sonic that was a perfect sonic you don't know nothing shush faith actually has like tattoos right so we're gonna like Cool. Because she's ready for free for for free running, right? That this this is the, this is their stance because they're ready for free free running. And there's like a tattoo right here she got of a snake going on like opposite ends, and she's got like snakes here as well, I think, or something or tribals. That's gonna be fine. This is a lesson in how not to draw characters when they're starting position. You never want to do this for for a running character starting a starting position. Okay, the, this is no good. This is no good for a character position, just so you know. So <laughs> what you want to do is get them in the starting position. So this leg, here's here's how good this is. You just take one leg and just go whap. And then just like, aha. And now they're ready, they're ready for running, you see? And then the other one can be like, whatever, just that, that's fine. And then like, you take that, there you go. Now they're ready for a starting position. <laughs> now they're ready for a... <laughs> She's <laughs> ready <laughs> to start running. Why are you saying it's a? It's not a crab. They're beautiful. You you guys are just mean. You don't you don't mean it. Stop being mean to fate. The fifth fifth is just fine. <laughs> She's a beautiful crab. You guys don't know anything. Let's get let's give them like those nice pants, okay? And give them them nice shoes, nice shoes. And their tribals are looking sick as hell. And how about we give them like a tank top that's like, that's like a different color. Right? Make, make them all like... Oh, wait. Wait. I forgot the pupil. I forgot the pupil. Give me a second. Give me a second. Done. We're going to take the entire background, change it to this color. And then we're going to take uh, Fate's shirt and make it into kind of a reddish color. Right? That's fine. All right? There you go. That's Fate. Don't offend Fate. All right? She can outrun any one of you. You guys don't know anything. Don't make fun of them. 
You guys are horrible if you do make fun of them. Okay, you don't make fun of Faith. Faith is our newest friend. And you guys will be kind and nice to them. Give me some suggestions. Let me see where, which which video game we're putting Faith in. We got Hogwarts Legacy. We got Ender Lilies. We got Plants vs. Zombies. <laughs> I kind of like Plants vs. Zombies. Portal. Oh my god. Yes, let's do Fallout. Let's do Fallout. Fallout New Vegas, though. We're picking Fallout New Vegas. That's the video game that we're going to put Faith from Mirror's Edge into. What is Faith's character trait? Okay, she broke her legs as one. Feet. It's not, that's not a character trait. Like, that's not how character traits work. <laughs> FIFA commentator. Okay, th these are the five ones. I need you guys to vote. Feet is not a character trait. There's two. We need one vote to break the tie. Who's gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Come on. So Whoa, that was a last second thing. You know what? Just because it was a last second thing, I was about to turn it off right before I, I clicked off. Just for that, we're gonna call it FIFA commentator. That is really into feet. We're gonna invite our friend Faith uh, in here. There's Faith. Look at <laughs> there, there's our beautiful Faith. <laughs> Nobody laugh at them. Nobody laugh at them. You guys are banned if you're laugh at them. Do not laugh at the drawing. Do not laugh at Faith. They're beautiful. You just misunderstand them. Okay. Hey Faith, how are you doing today? Let's just see how they feel. Give them a second, they were just born. Just another day in the wasteland, mate. Keeping my feet on the ground and my eyes on the ball. You? Hey, Faith, you doing okay? Your voice kind of sounding deep there. Just been commentating a lot of FIFA, mate. <laughs> voice is a bit rough, but my foot game's still strong. How about you? Do we keep this voice or do we change it? I, I feel like I'm gonna lose it. I'm not gonna like be able to like take any of this seriously <laughs> if we keep the voice. Can we change the voice? One of the USA is saying change it. Two change it, three keep it. I'm gonna pick this one, okay? And we're gonna stick with this one and we're not gonna change it. I also clicked multiple times so I might have clicked the wrong thing. So Faith, we're trying to make a song for this game called Fallout New Vegas. Have you ever heard of it? Fallout New Vegas? Mate, I live it. What's the vibe we're going for with this tune? The fu- <laughs> That was so bad. That's so, I'm sorry. No, we're gonna change it again. Fallout New Vegas. I've seen how it looks like. I'm just gonna pull up some whatever gameplay just so we can take a look at it. And we're not gonna, we're gonna make a song as if it belongs in Fallout New Vegas. All right, here's what Fallout New Vegas looks like. Give me some words that you would explain to explain like Fallout New Vegas, like post-apocalyptic, we're trying to go for like an old western type of a style. Which instrument should we start first, Faith? L let's see what, what, she's, what she's gonna say. Also, there's Navi here. She, she decided to like join us on the stream. I don't know, this is like a first time thing that I've- Old just... western, eh? Let's start with the sound of boots tapping on a wooden floor. Nothing says western like a good foot stomp. What's next? Like they people just want to see my shoes, don't they? They just want they just want to see my shoes is all it is. Quick pause on the stream for because Navi requires scratches. Yo did you bagel. Look at that did you bagel. I'm going to get up. I'm going to go get a, grab a shoe. So, I'm going to pick a tempo instead of asking Faith at this point. Okay, I got to I got to lift up the chair though. I can't, I can't because my neighbors are going to be mad at me if I if I do this. Okay, we put down the tapping on a wooden floor feet thing. Now, which instrument should we go with next? How about we add the sound of a ball being kicked? Gives it a bit of that FIFA flair, doesn't it? And for the instrument, <laughs> let's go with a harmonica. Nothing screams Western more than a harmonica. <laughs> Give Faith a female voice, fine. No, I'm not changing. I'm actually, fuck that, dude. I'm, I'm in the middle of a Mickey a song. Faith is fine. Their voice is beautiful. You guys are just being judgmental, okay? So we need to kick the football. I'm not putting the football thing, but I'm gonna get a harmonica. Wait a second. There we go. I got I got I got some whatever the fuck this is. Okay, it's in D. Also, I don't know how to play harmonica, alright? This is the first time I'm doing this, so fucking ignore me. Okay, I dug out a harmonica and, and I put it in the track. What next? Brilliant. Now, let's add the sound of a leather ball hitting the net. It's like a goal in FIFA, but with a Western twist. And for the instrument, how about a banjo? Gives it a bit of a twang, doesn't it? I don't 
don't have a fucking banjo. Also, like the fact that <laughs> Faith is a is a FIFA commentator is not helping my situation. That's that's the sound of a ball hitting a net. I imagine it. All right, it, just imagine it. It works. Let me let me see if I have a banjo in here. It's our plug banjo. Okay, I put in a banjo. What are the final two instruments? And let's be done with this. This is this is like really difficult to think about because fate keeps throwing curveballs, and this is not easy at all. For the final touches, let's add the sound of a referee's whistle. It's a nod to my FIFA commentator side. And for the last instrument, let's go with a fiddle. It'll give our tune a bit of a hoedown feel. That should wrap up our Fallout New Vegas Western track nicely. What the fuck is the like? Wait a stop, stop, stop for a second. Where the fuck am I supposed to find a goddamn fiddle? This is what Faith has made. Ladies and gentlemen, that was our very lovely Faith. Round of applause for Faith. Give them some claps. They were fantastic. They did a great job for this. <laughs> that did not fit whatsoever. Faith, people are loving it. What do you have to say for them before we send you off? Keep your feet on the ground and your eyes on the ball, mates. And remember, whether it's parkour or FIFA, it's all about the game. Cheers! God damn it. What are the scores for that one? <laughs> FIFA out of 10. It sounds like a kid's animated Western TV show. It is a kid's animated Western TV. What are you talking about? Fall out of out. Feet come in. Commenter out of 10. Okay. Cowboy out of feet. Egg out of banana. FIFA out of feet. <laughs> Stardew Valley out of FIFA 2014. I will accept every single one of those scores. Those scores are perfectly fine if you ask me i don't know i kind of like the song actually no i did not like that song i'm not lying to anybody that was ass friendship with faith ended stop everybody give me a second i have to ask you do you guys find this fun is this entertaining to you that's all i want to know is this entertaining like chat is saying yes the hive mind is saying that this is extremely fun especially the drawing well speaking of the drawing we gotta invite our new <laughs> new, <laughs> our new friend we gotta invite our next guest onto the show let's spin the wheel let's see who's gonna who's gonna be it's mario oh my god we gotta draw mario okay everybody knows mario and we're gonna draw him from memory this this is how we're gonna do it <laughs> what's mario's name but <laughs> you guys have to give him the name so we gotta start off with the hat all right everybody knows the beautiful giant hat Okay. There we go. And it has, of course, the nice little like circle with the with the M inside. Uh, so we there you go. That's a beautiful M. There you go. That's an M. Then we gotta have his beautiful, beautiful hair. Everybody knows Mario has beautiful, beautiful hair. And then we can't forget the head with his beautiful nose. 
And then we got to give him some eyes. There we go. Then we got to proceed with the mouth. So he's giving us a little, a little smirk. I don't want to hear none of you guys saying that this is not like the correct Mario. This is the actual legit Mario, okay? There, that's Mario. <laughs> Wait, didn't Mario have a mustache? He had like this sort of a thing going on. His hat is supposed to be red, right? And then his logo is supposed to be white. He's completely fine. His hair needs to be black. No, that's a perfectly drawn on M. I don't know what you're talking about. That's how M, that's how I spell M. Look, the, the M right here, it works. It's a little bit crooked because the 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 hat is on the side. That's, that's why it is. It's just the hat is like this, so the M is on the side. Mario it needs to be ready for anything and everything because he is a jump man, so he needs to jump all the time. So let's give Mario a nice... And nobody make fun of him for this because he is jump Mario, okay? But we're gonna give him a pogo stick. Mario has a great pogo stick that he can jump and boing on, okay? We gotta give him his overalls because everybody knows that Mario is known for his overalls as well. Look how happy he looks. He is so happy. <laughs> Matthew needs a pipe. You wanna give Matthew a pipe? Alright, let's give him a pipe. Matthew has a pipe now. Pipe goes like, yeah, and then like, yeah, there you go, and it has a little smoke there. Mario needs to be standing on the, on the pogo stick, like so, because that's, this is how you sit on a pogo stick. You just like, have your little tootsies on there like this. And now our masterpiece is done. What, what's the name? Mario? Uh... There we go, that's how you spell Mario. Which video game are we placing our very own Mario in? <laughs> I got the colors of Mario wrong? No, the colors are fine. You are wrong. You don't know what the colors are. Getting over it! Beautiful! Because getting over it, you use a hammer and Mario has a pogo stick. He'll just jump over everything. It's fine. And then, what is his newly acquired character trait? So far, what I'm seeing is like being a hippie or being a plumber and an herb enthusiast. <laughs> so which one is gonna win? We need one more vote. Our Mario bu bu buddy is a hippie plumber that is an herb enthusiast. Let us invite over our newest, newest guest, ladies and gentlemen, Mario. Whoa. Mario, how are you this evening? Feeling groovy, man. Just hanging with my herbs, you know? Peace and love, dude. Which, ga which game are we making this for? Like, getting over it. Right. Mario, would you like to help us out in making a song for the runaway hit video game called Getting Over It? Bring Far out, man. What's the vibe of the song we're aiming for? Something chill to match my herb-loving plumber persona? or something more intense to capture the struggle of getting over it. Hey, would you mind explaining to the class what the game Getting Over It is about? Getting Over It is a punishing climbing game. You move the hammer with the mouse, and that's all there is. The hiking action is very similar to way you would do it in real life. Remember that and you will do well. Peace and love, man. What instrument do you suggest we start with? And what BPM do we start with? Groovy, man. Let's start with a didgeridoo for that earthy, chill vibe to match our herb-loving plumber. As for the BPM, let's keep it mellow and relaxed. Around 70 BPM. Peace what is, and love, dude. What is what is up with all the fucking slow tempo shit? God damn. Okay, so you won't believe this, but I don't have a didgeridoo. I only have normal instruments. No worries, man. Let's get creative with what we have. How about using a bass guitar? You can play it in a way that mimics the drone of a didgeridoo. And for the rhythm, you can use a shaker or tambourine to keep that chill vibe. Peace and love, dude. <laughs> Here, here is the video game, by the way, it's for all of you that were wondering. It's very annoying, very frustrating. I don't ever, 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 ever want to do this. My question is the following. What does a didgeridoo sound like? Nah, nah, that's not gonna work. That kind of sounds like a didgeridoo, whatever. What's the next instrument? Next, let's add some hand drums, man. They've got a cool, earthy vibe that'll go great with our bass guitar drone. You can use bongos or congas, whatever you've got. Peace and love, dude. My dude, I... I don't think that's gonna work, but I'll give it a shot. Also... God damn it, you're asking too much sometimes. I think we broke the program. I think I offended him. No! It crashed! Or it's gonna take a second. Mario, come back to us. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it, buddy! Come back! 
I'm really sorry! Take it easy, man. Okay. Remember, it's all about the journey, not the destination. Peace and love, dude. Okay. <sighs> okay, that's funny. <laughs> He's back. Our sweet boy is back. I, I, I got scared for a second there. Here, here, have a little pat on the head. Uh, Mr. Mario, sir, uh, not to, like, step on any toes, but may I just add a normal piano this time, please? Absolutely, man. A piano can bring a nice, Thank mellow you. vibe to our tune. Just keep it chill and groovy. Peace and love, dude. Fuck you mean, ch No? No, I'm gonna be chill, and I'm gonna be groovy. I'm gonna be chill, and I'm gonna be groovy. Mario, sir, now we're grooving, now we're chilling. We're keeping it smooth, man. What's the next instrument? Right on, man. Let's add some flute to the mix. It's got a light, airy vibe that'll float right over our chill bass and piano groove. Peace and love, dude. All right, I'll just spit on whatever I made and just so you can be happy. Thank you so much so far, Mr. Mario, sir. Finally, I would like to ask you, what is the last instrument that you can put on our masterpiece? Let's see what he's going to say. It's all up to this little Far guy. Far out, man. For the final touch, let's add some rain stick. It'll give our masterpiece a soothing, natural vibe. Peace and love, dude. The instruments that these clients are asking is just... Time is cometh for us to see if what we have actually fits the game. This is what our little Mario did.
that is the thing that this little dude has made for us. I'm gonna need to hear them scores. Hey, Mario. Cutercraft said he rates this song that we made, Man Getting Out of the Cauldron. That's the score. What do you think? Far out, man. If Cutercraft digs it, then it's all good in the neighborhood. Remember, music is like a river. It's all about the flow. Peace and love, dude. You see? He agrees. Your Jews Goatman says, getting out of over, uh, out of over it. What do you think about that? Groovy, man. If Yejus Goatman is getting out and over it, then it's all good vibes. Remember, life's a game. Just keep playing. Peace and love, dude. Mario, our friend, our lover. Any last words before we send you off? Keep it groovy, man. Remember, life's a game. Just keep playing. Peace, love, and power-ups, dude. That's all the tunes, okay? Bye.